Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is about doing animation in iMovie using a function called keyframing. And uh, it's pretty pretty simple. So uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. You're going to need a movie project open. And we're going to need two pieces of media. We need one for the background and we need one something for a picture in a picture. So for this example, I'm just grabbing a picture of my desktop. And now we're going to need a picture in a picture image that we can drop on top of that. Let me shrink this up just a little bit for so we can see everything here. I'm going to shrink the size of this one. Okay, now we have a picture in a picture and we have a background image, but of course the picture in a picture is covering up the whole thing. So what we need to do is actually go in here select picture in a picture and now we can resize it and first thing I want to do is actually zero out the transition time I don't need any transition here okay and now we have an image we can put anywhere so let's learn how to animate this image we're just gonna make it move so the first thing you want to do is use your scrubber here and get it to the point at where you want that animation to start which is probably gonna be for me, anyways, it's going to be just at the beginning of the clip here. I so say once you do that, there is a an extra control that appeared here when you're in picture in a picture. This is allowing you to set a keyframe. And the way keyframes work in iMovie is once you set the first one, iMovie assumes that any movement you make is going to be another keyframe. And th these arrows to the left and to the right, once you've set your keyframes, will let you jump to those keyframe points and you can also delete them as well but for now let's well, we won't worry about that right now let's just figure out how to animate first okay so we're gonna set our first point our scrubber is where we want it our image is where we want it so let's hit that plus diamond sign thing here so we set the first one now let's move our scrubber a little bit and we'll move our image a little bit okay now let's move our Scrub her a little bit more. Let's move our image a little bit more. And remember, every time we do this, iMovie is creating a, a um, point for us. Let's do this again. We're gonna move this. Gonna move it over here. Gonna move the scrubber again. Gonna move the image over there. Gonna move the scrubber again. And then move the image right there. Then we'll move the scrubber to the end and we'll move this all the way off screen and we'll click this to accept the changes here apply the changes now let's watch our animation we, we created ready here we go woo, 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 woo. <laughs> and the reason why it's so fast is my original clip is only four seconds so this thing has to figure out how long how fast it has to go within a two second span to, to do all these moves. So the longer you stretch it out or the longer your movie is, the slower it will go and vice versa. Okay. So that's pretty cool, pretty easy, yeah? Let me go ahead and delete this. I'm gonna show you another example. And originally what I wanted to do is keep this background fixed. So what I'm gonna do, it's an image, so I'll just double click on it and I'll take off that Ken Burns effect by hitting fit here. I'll apply the changes. And now I'm going to drop this image here. Let's make it the full length here. Again, once it's highlighted in yellow, we want to get it to a picture in a picture mode. Okay. And I also want to zero off this transition here. And again, use your creative freedoms here. You know, if you need it to, to fade in, then that's cool too. Put my scrubber or the tape head at the beginning. And I want to put this just off screen here right there okay I'm gonna set that first keyframe and then I'm gonna go all the way to the end and then I'm gonna set the last one by moving this one right there okay then I'm gonna apply or accept changes and let's see what this one looks like There you go. And it's looking a little jerky is because I'm recording the screen. 
while I'm talking to you recording the voiceover. And actually, the system is rendering out this video. So it look, it'll look a little jaggy, but it'll be smoother on your system. Okay, so pretty straightforward, yeah? And notice, when I double-click and highlight, I can go from my keep, go forward, go back to each of the keyframes. And if I want to, I can actually delete the keyframe. And now there's only one. It, it won't go anywhere. You can delete that last one, too. But the, re the way I like to do it is, if I don't get it right, I usually delete the element that I dragged in there, and I'll do it again. That's just the way I work. Okay. Well, that's how you animate using iMovie. I hope this helps you guys and, and ladies out there. And definitely think about the things you can do. You can do video. You can do still images. You can do logos. You can do text. Anything that's an image or a video, you can animate it using this, this keyframe system. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, comment, ask your questions if you need any uh, tutorials done with iMovie, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Peace and aloha.